Hi, I'm Bill Susselberg, and I'm here at the Garden State Film Festival in Asbury Park with Ronnie Marmo, an actor who traveled a long road from the community theater stages of New Jersey all the way out to Hollywood, where he's now seen on ABC's General Hospital. And we just came from the New Jersey premiere of his latest film, Pizza with Bullets. Congratulations, Ronnie, on the great film that we just came out of with Vincent Pastore and a bunch of other familiar names. Um, Tell us how you felt after seeing the premiere today. I think uh, I think it was great. I had a lot of fun. It's it's fun to see something after you've done it a few years and you forget what you've said and and see how an audience responds and you just hope that they do and and they did. They seem to like it a lot. So I feel good. And you had one of the great leads in the movie and you were part of their creative force uh, getting this movie done uh, with some of your other partners. Tell us about that. Well, I mean, I was I was an actor in the film at the end of the day, but I did bring some people to the table and I really tried hard to uh, just be an enthusiastic force with uh, Robert Rothbard, Jeffrey Cordone, uh, Romeo Antonio, these are the producers and the director, Robert, and just try to be a champion of the film, and uh, along with Vin Vinnie Pastore and Talia Shire. So really, I just showed up and was enthusiastic. I mean, they did most of the work, but you know, it was, it was fun to be a part of it. I understand you're up for an award at this year's uh, Garden State Film Festival too. Tell us about that. Well, I've uh, been giving the uh, Robert Pastorelli Rising Star Award, and it's, it's a huge honor because Robert Pastorelli was a co-founding member of the Garden State Film Festival. And every year they give away an award in his honor. He, he passed away in 2004. And it's basically, my take on the award is basically, it's not just about acting or directing, it's, it's more about the struggle. And Pastorelli really represented what it took to do what we do. And so the fact that they've chosen me this year is really, really an honor. And uh, they always take a Jersey guy, which I am. Uh, and, uh, and so I, I'm really honored and blessed, and I can't believe they chose me. Ronnie, you're working on another project that will be seen here in New Jersey. And uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, towards the end of April, I'll be doing a one-man show playing Lenny Bruce at the Edison Valley Playhouse, which I love. And um, it'll be April 22nd, 23rd, and 25th. And it's a one-man show, and basically I play Lenny Bruce, and uh, it's called Lenny's Back and Boys He Pissed. And, uh, but it's not, a, it's not just a bunch of anger, it's a, it's a really beautiful show, and it's funny, and it's, you know, heartfelt and all that. Anyway, for a father to get sole custody of a kid in California was not easy. I studied the law, I had it down cold, and I pulled it off, man. But I'm excited to bring it back to my hometown and, uh, and get to perform it. Lenny Bruce was a controversial figure in his time and really made it possible for other comedians such as Richard Pryor, George Carlin, and others. Uh, what made you develop a project based on Lenny Bruce? Well, I just always loved what, what he stood for, you know, freedom of speech, the First Amendment. Today, the comedians uh, and performers take for granted the fact that you can say anything you want at any time you want on stage and no one's offended. But, you know, just, just for uh, the 60, early 60s, so just 50 years ago, in this country, Lenny Bruce, he was arrested for saying schmuck on stage 50 years ago in this country because he offended a, a certain police officer. And so I just feel, I feel really strongly about people who uh, see things differently and want to uh, be a part of changing the future. And he, you know, he was so way ahead of his time and that's just really attractive to me. And it's a great script and uh, it's really a cool, cool role. Take us through your journey from a young actor in New Jersey and uh, through the years, I mean, I worked with you 15 years ago, but uh, in those 15 years, and now you have a few films under your belt and a television show, uh, give us a little short synopsis of how you got there. Well, 15 years ago, uh, uh, actually almost 16 years ago, my mother passed away of cancer, and she was a young lady, and we used to go see community theater all the time. We had a few friends, and uh, we used to come to Edison Valley Playhouse in Somerset Valley, and, and we'd go to all these places, and I'd always leave there beaming, you know, I'd be like, ah, oh, this is amazing, and she'd say, you should do it. And I kind of never had the courage, and I didn't know what I wanted to do. And uh, when she passed away, I called that friend that we used to go see, and I asked him to, um, if he heard of any auditions, I would like to go. And it was for you, and I auditioned for you, and you gave me the role, thank, thank you. And so, the next year and a half after that, it was community theater, I was in every play I could get myself into. Then I booked a, uh, Tony and Tina's wedding in Philadelphia, did that for a year. Did the national tour of Tony and Tina's wedding, the Broadway national tour for a year. Ended up in Hollywood about 11 years ago. And since then I've done 18 feature films, um, opened a theater company, uh, we're nine years old, called 68 Cent Crew Theater Company, where my heart really is. And I uh, have my own theater on Sunset Boulevard called Theater 68. And uh, now I'm lucky enough to be on uh, General Hospital. 
And so it's, it really hasn't been luck. You know, I've been working so hard and uh, just a series of good things have happened because of me working so hard. But I guess, I guess it really came together because I don't have a plan B and there's nothing else I do or want to do. Uh, so that's, I think, why I've been successful. Tell us about some of the other movie roles you were in. We were, saw Pizza and Bullets today. Tell us another one. One delicious slice, not too hard. There's this guy, Marty, who comes in every day, he says it just like that. Yeah, I'm a moron. I did a picture called West of Brooklyn that I wrote uh, and starred in, and that's, that's the movie that I care about the most that I've ever done. Uh, it's dear to my heart. And uh, another picture coming out called Limbo Lounge that I uh, shot in San Francisco that has just been completed and uh, making the festival route. So, you know, just to name a few, it's been really, it's been really good. I've been very blessed. So uh, I'm excited to be playing a cop on TV, though, because that's, you know, more immediate. And, uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about the general hospital role. It must be a different type of acting and preparation for a show that's on five days a week. And yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, general hospital is the hardest job I've ever had. You know, you, you get a lot of pages, you go up, you have a very short time to prepare, you get to run it once or twice with your, with your uh, scene partners, and they tape it. And you only get one shot at it. And if it's really bad, you might get three or if there's a technical issue. So uh, it's really cool. It's a great job. It's steady. And I think I've grown so much as an actor based on all the, you know, the approach of doing a soap opera. And I think the actors up there are all fantastic actors, uh, you know, and um, I'm really lucky. I got the job because I was doing a play and the writer saw me in a play and he, wrote, he created the role for me, so I've been very lucky. And somebody from General Hospital is involved in this Lenny Bruce uh, presentation you're doing at Edison Valley, right? Yeah, the same guy I just mentioned, his name is Bob Guza. He's the head writer of General Hospital. He's also directing me in the Lenny Bruce show. And it's only me, it's a one-man show, so it's, it's me and Bob in rehearsal most nights. And then that weekend, you're coming back here for another General Hospital event, right? Yes, there's um, a Saturday the 25th, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, Saturday the 24th, at 10 a.m. we're gonna uh, have a uh, personal appearance with myself, Tyler Christopher, Lisa Lo Cicero, and uh, Dominic Zampronia in Point Pleasant, and then at 4 p.m. in uh, Long Island. So that's the Saturday I'll be here, we're doing two appearances, and then the uh, other three nights I'm here, we're doing performances of Lenny, so. Great, great, and uh, well, that's it, Ronnie Marmo. Starring in Pizza with Bullets, he started in central New Jersey and uh, has acted all over the United States and on movie screens. You can see Ronnie on stage at Edison Valley Playhouse in Lenny's Beck and Boy Is He Pissed on April 22nd and 23rd at 8 p.m. and on Sunday, April 25th at 6 p.m. Look for him in area movie theaters when Pizza with Bullets is released and you can visit his website at www.ronniemarmo.com. Thanks a lot, Ronnie, and good luck with the film. You got it. Thank you.